Today, the couple who hoarded Yorkies, dozens of them inside their Poway home, will find out their sentence. Investigators found roughly 170 Yorkies living in filthy conditions. Ten News reporter Mary McKenzie live at the Humane Society. They took the pups in. They're adopting them out. Mary, what do some of the new owners think this couple should get at today's sentencing? More than they're getting now, Virginia, that's for sure. Many of the new owners want to face the hoarders today. Later in court, many of them plan to be there. Now, thankfully, Mark Vidimo, Christine Calvert, they will be in jail today and will likely give a statement. They perhaps will not be serving any jail time, though. Three years probation and some counseling is what they will likely face. And some of the new owners aren't happy about it. And so I've seen most of the dogs. I've talked to most of the owners and these dogs suffered. There's no question. These dogs, it wasn't just, I love all these dogs, I just don't know what to do with them all. These dogs, they suffered in the hands of, of the hoarders. And now the new owners have even created a Facebook page to support one another in this journey. Many of the dogs, they say, are getting better, but still face so many health problems. Eye and ear infections, hip dysplasia, many of them need major surgeries, and nearly all of them suffer from anxiety. Despite that, the owners say they feel lucky to have been chosen out of 1,800 applications that were filed for these dogs in just 24 hours. The conditions from which they were rescued, the worst the agency has ever seen. Uh, back out here live, once again, the couple is expected to get three years probation as well as counseling. They've already given up their home to the Humane Society as part of their restitution. We're live from the Humane Society. Mary McKenzie, 10 News. Mary,